happen when I play guitar and knuckle puck. It's awesome because it's like <laughs> snowing at home. I actually I kind of kind of miss like the first snow at home because it's something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. But uh, before we made it to the West Coast, it was just freezing the whole time, and uh, so it just feels nice like playing a show and like you get to load out. You don't have to put a jacket on or anything like that, so it's nice. I always look forward to coming to California. It's like I feel like it's just been really cold lately. Actually. Probably the coldest it's been in like Really? This yeah. feels like phenomenal to <laughs> all of us, so. Not really. No? No. And like it. every interview we do, someone asks that. <laughs> and like, well, it's like, it's pretty obvious, like, yeah, that's mainly what it's from, but it's actually, okay, so our drummer John went to Sound and Fury 2012 and he saw a kid wearing a stick to your gun shirt and, uh, we had a show coming up in like our first show in like three weeks, and on the stick to your gun shirt it said Knuckle Puck Crew. Mm -hmm. So John texted all of us and said, "Hey, what about Knuckle Puck?" We're like, "Yeah, they need to make the flyer for the show soon, so let's just do that." Because it was the only one we liked so far, and so we just did that. Well, so, I mean, so like it's from the yes, Mighty Ducks, but not really. <laughs> so like that's why I said like, uh, you know, not really. Yeah. So. I, you know what, I completely forgot about the animated series until now, which was pretty cool. Yeah, and that little Yeah, and uh, when you go to McDonald's, they would have like the, the pucks that would roll. Do you, remember, do you remember those and the ducks sticking out? Yes. You guys remember those? Yeah, those were cool. But mostly people refer to like the Kingdom Thompson movie. Well, it was after... We got done with a tour that we did with Man Overboard, Transit, and Forever King Calling. We had like about two months off before we left with Census Fail. And so we did that and took like, I think like two and a half weeks because it was like here and there. Like sometimes on tour we would uh, like hook up a laptop in the green room or something and uh, try to like flesh the songs out. but. For the most part, we got the bulk of it done when we were at home, you know, in between tours and stuff like that. Like, no, not really. We're not like a crazy band, I don't think. Uh, like, I can't think of anything, honestly. We're kind of boring, I don't know. We don't really do anything crazy. I'm sure, like, if I actually took the time, I could think of something, but on the spot, I'm not going to do that. I love playing Beckman Falls. Uh, I think that sounds really fun to play on guitar. But Why Would You Care is a lot of fun to play too. Um, definitely those two. I like those two a lot. They gave us a list of songs when they asked us to do it, Fearless Records, and then uh, that was like the only song we were really interested in doing like at all. And we all liked that band, so we just figured why not, it would be a lot of fun to do. And then we didn't, want to make it like a knuckle puck song because we didn't want to like ruin it mm -hmm. kind of thing yeah. um so we just like basically i mean have you heard it yeah it, it's just like a basically straight up representation of what the original song is mm -hmm. so the only thing that's really different is like joe and nick's vocal melodies and stuff like that so i mean it was a lot of fun to do it was yeah cool. it yeah it was cool doing something that doesn't sound anything like the band you're actually in so mm -hmm. it was fun yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm have you so excited. No, none no, of us have ever been so there cool. <laughs> like at all and it'll be our first time as a band going over there. So I'm super excited. Is there anything you're looking forward to doing while over there? Um I r I don't like know. We talked to the guys from Neck Deep and we asked them to like show us around and stuff when we're over there. Yeah. Um so I mean see Big Ben. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else we would do, but I'm really excited just to have like uh a change of pace because this tour is the fourth full U.S. tour we've done this year and so it'll just be nice not to tour the U.S. for a little bit and to get a completely different perspective on what shows are like in a completely different area of the world. So, Somos. That band, like, I don't know why, but I just feel like it's like it's kind of obvious that because they open every night uh, that like 
they are still like expanding their fan base and I don't know why I find that so hard to believe because they put out like one of my favorite records this year. Uh, it's so good and uh, I definitely think so. Much. Every band in the store, even like the additional bands on the particular legs are awesome. Forced Order. Uh, I listen to a lot of hardcore bands. Uh, I like that Praise record a lot. I like the, I like I Am Kane a lot. I like the, what else do I like? Ryan, our bassist, started a new band at home called Home Safe, and they just put out a five song EP, and it's sick, it's so cool. Um, he did that with some of our other friends at home. What other bands do I like right now? Somos, Somos is awesome. Grind's awesome. Boxing's awesome. Walter Mary's awesome. Our baseball's awesome. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just naming all the bands we were on tour so far. I think it's extremely important uh, just because if, you know, like you said, we do kind of have a younger audience, you know, I feel like it's good to not, like, just make them more aware instead of, you know, because what 17-year-old kid is going to turn on CNN and actively pay attention to it, you know, so I think it's, it's bringing enough attention to important things going on because if they say, hey, I like this band and they're talking about something that's going on. Maybe I should be paying attention to it. Maybe I should form my own opinion, do some research, read some articles. Um, I think it's really important. And I feel like a lot of people don't expect us to do something like that because we're you know, like a pop punk band kind of thing. I feel like if anything, like a hardcore band would raise awareness about uh, something like that, especially like political issues or social issues in this country. But I think it's a really important thing that a lot of bands I think should do. I think it's, uh, it's a really vital thing. And that's, we were talking about uh, our drummer John, he was saying, you know, one of the main things about this band is that you're sending a message. And whether, we're not a political band by any means, but um, you can still do that via social media and just make people aware who wouldn't investigate certain issues, you know, like voluntarily. So. Is that a good answer? Yeah, okay. no, it was a great answer. Okay. <laughs> we were talking about it in the car. <laughs> about what, specifically? Like, well, because we know someone else in a band that, like, kind of avoided the issue and said that you didn't have a voice. And then we were just like, no, hold on, like, you have a platform. And yeah. It was just like, it was just a really poor excuse to not answer the question. That's yeah. why we were talking about it. But, and then I brought you guys up, so I was like, no, this is also why I really like these guys, because they talk about this stuff, like, yeah. even if they don't directly address it, like, they'll still, like, put, you know, a little something out there, and, yeah. like, I like reading it, you know, other people just see it, I think that's really important, so even if it's not, you know, as long as people are aware of it, yeah. I think that's, that's, that's the main that's thing. still a small step, so. Yeah. Or sort of sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Bald? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want like any of them to kick my ass after I say something. <laughs> I don't know. We all have pretty good like healthy heads of hair actually. Because I have some friends my age who are like clearly they're like balding. They're like 22 year old men and they're balding. That sucks. I don't know. None of us. I think we all. I think we're all good. We'll all. We'll all die with head on our with hair on our head. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. No problem. Thank you for letting me do this. <laughs>